Question number one says circle the numbers that are divisible by 9. The reason I know these three numbers are divisible by 9 because if you add up 3 times, I mean 3 plus 6 equals 9, which means it will be divisible by 9. If you add 2 and 5 and 2 together, that will also equal 9, so it will be divisible by 9. Same thing for this. If you add it up, it will be 18, so that means it's also divisible by 9. But these two, if you add them up, they don't equal a number that is divisible by 9, so they are not divisible by 9. Perfect. On, on number A, it says write a six-digit number with seven in the thousands place, so you'd locate the thousands place, which is right here because it's a comma right there, and you'd put the seven right there. Five in the hundredth place, it'd be right next to the seven. This is what, there's a little bit of a mistake. That says hundredths place, oh. so that five's going to go there. Oh, yeah. And but every, people make that mistake all the time. Yeah. And it says it's a numeral. Not and a number? Yeah. And four in the tenths place would be right here because it's behind the the whole number. Yes. It's behind the dot, so that means it's a tenth, not right. a ten. Put three in the tens place, it's not a tenth, it's a ten. So it's in front of the decimal. And all and nines in all the other places you would put the nine in there and there. That was really good. Write the numeral in words would be seven thousand nine hundred thirty four and and forty-five hundredths. Yes. For this, you you would complete it by twenty-seven thousand equals something times ninety. You would do the question ninety times uh, blank, and uh, if you got three hundred, that would be the answer right there. Can I show you how I do that? Or twenty-seven thousand divided by ninety. I think of what nine times something is going to be twenty-seven. And then how many zeros there are in the answer has to be how many zeros there are in a the question. There's one, two, three zeros in the answer. There's three zeros here, too. So I found the three, and then you did that. Did you get it? Yep. Okay, because you did eight times six is 48, and then you add four zeros. Nice work on this, by the way. Yeah, that's how I answered one, two, most three, of those. Four, five. Okay, you keep going. You're doing a great job. And uh, how, and you would and you would solve the question right here five times six and if it's thirty you would add the number of zeros in that question onto the end of it. But, but e is a little different than the rest. Three hundred and fifty equals seven times what? You would find you would find seven times five equals th thirty five and then you would add that zero onto the end and you know it'd be fifty. Please quiet on the set. For number 11, name a number between 100 and 200 that is divisible by 3, but not 2. If it's divisible by 2, it means that it is even. So we just found numbers that are, were divisible by 3, and they're odd. Like 117 is divisible by 3 and odd. How do you know that's divisible by 3, though? It's because 117, one. if you add up the numbers, it is a number divisible by 3. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 7 is 9. And that also. And this is also uh, divisible by 3, 123. We'd basically add 6 onto that, which means and which means it'd be divisible by 3, and we did the rest of those just like that. So these are some examples of numbers that you can use that are between 100 and 200 and divisible by 3, but not 2. This one was a little trickier. Name a number between 300 and 400 that is divisible by 2, 3, and 5. That meant it had to be even, divisible by 3, and end with a 0. So they can't end in 5? Because it won't be what? They won't be divisible by 5. The, the even. End, it won't be even if it's 5. So you know it's going to end in 0. Good job. So 330 would be a good number, and 360 and 390 will also be good numbers. Okay, um, we're almost wrapping this up. This is really great. At the at the right is a calendar for the month. Use the following clues to figure out what date the Bret Hart School won its last basketball game. The date is not an even number, so I'd cross out all the even numbers on the calendar. And the date is a square number, so I'd find all the square numbers on the calendar, which would be 1, 9, and 25. And 4. And 4. And then the date is not a prime number. And so I would cross out all the numbers that were prime that you would buzz on in the game buzz. And that left me it's with... It's multiple of five, right? Yeah, and that, so that, that left me with nine and 25. And 
so it's a multiple of five, which means it had to be the 25th. Nice. So the answer is the 25th. I think you're right. Good job. And the last one, is, people miss this all of the time. Is 603 a prime number or a composite number? I think it's a composite number because 6 plus 3 equals 9, and 9 can be divided by 3. So, so And it is a square number, which oh, means... it's probably also divisible by 9, too, isn't it? Yeah. So that means it's a... Uh, that means it's a composite number. You would not buzz on it. People, and people sometimes think it's a buzz number, a prime number if it's odd. You have yeah. to check. Yeah, that is really confusing. Your video is perfect. Nice work. Cut.